friends happy Wednesday it's Miss A behind the camera and today we are going to be making our last family night craft before summer at RPL begins so if you haven't heard this spiel before make sure you sign up next Monday this Monday coming up next week for our summer at RPL summer learning program formerly the art the artist formerly known as summer reading so you will basically get to log your time reading and log the different activities you do, like ones like this, in order to win prizes. So it's not just for kids, it's also for adults. Make sure you come in on Monday or any time between June 15th and August 15th when our program runs this year to sign up. But anyway, let's get to today's family night craft. We'll be making crepe paper jellyfish. So if you pick up a go pack at Northeast Branch Library, it'll have some crepe paper and some little cupcake liners. All you'll need other than that is a pair of scissors and some glue or tape. If you don't have them at home, don't worry. As always, just ask a librarian and we're happy to provide them. So let's get started. So for this first step, we are going to take our cupcake liners and I'm just going to put a little dot of glue between these two cupcake liners just to make sure they don't peel apart because we want them to stay stacked together. That's just to make them a little bit stronger. So make sure they sit in nicely between each other and sort of pat down that glue, help them stick. Now as those two dry, we are going to cut a bunch of strips of paper just to cover the head of our jellyfish. So what you wanna do, sort of measure it out, make it a little longer than the top to the bottom of the cupcake liner. I'm gonna do it like this. And you wanna cut a bunch of strips of about the same size. You can lay them on top of each other for our next cutting step. It's okay if they're not all exactly the same. What we want is enough streamers to cover our cupcake liners. I think this should be enough, we'll see. So what you want to do is basically cut one of the sides, this is the side that'll come down into sort of a U shape. Basically just rounding off those corners so it looks nice and neat instead of sort of tattered. So I'm just going to line up all of my strips on top of each other and then give it this nice cut. If it's helpful for you, you could use a pencil to draw the shape before you cut it out. I'm just going to trim it a little bit so it looks nice and neat. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This end is going to be glued on the top, so it doesn't matter really what it looks like. So now one at a time, I'm going to glue the strips on. So it's up to you. You could either just put a glue on the top you can put it on the sides as well. I'm going to do both to make it a little more secure. So you want to overlap them as you glue and just glue them on one at a time. All right, so all right, so once the whole thing is covered, you'll notice a lot of things are sort of lifting away. What I'm going to do is add a little bit more glue just to sort of keep everything down. Okay, this looks a little messy, but we're going to let it somewhere to dry. This is going to be the head of my jellyfish. So now what we want to do in the meantime while that's drying is cut a lot of streamers to be the tentacles. So what I like to do is find a couple different lengths that I want just to add some variation and each time I'm cutting multiple strips of a length I'm just going to fold them over onto each other and cut along the fold so I can cut more than one at once. And you could have strips have their tentacles be all the same length, but I like to have a couple different lengths just to add sort of a cool look to it. All 
Okay, so now that I have my streamers, we're going to glue them to the bottom of our jellyfish. So the easiest way to do this is to flip our cupcake holder upside down, our cupcake liner. You can use squeezy glue or a glue stick, but basically you just want to glue on these tentacles one at a time. For now, we'll drape off to the side, but when we pick it up, they'll sort of all billow out from the middle. Okay, so now that all of my streamers are on, we're going to leave them for a couple minutes to dry. So how long it takes for it to dry depends upon how much glue you used. So when in doubt, remember kids, a little dab will do you. So just a little glue means just a little drying time. A lot of glue means a lot of drying time. Okay friends, so my jellyfish is mostly dry and this is our result. Now, obviously you can't hang it just holding it like this, so there should also be a little piece of ribbon in your bag. I'm just going to cut one now. And for this step, you could use glue, but I think it's a whole lot easier with some tape. So I'm going to basically take my piece of ribbon and tie it into a loop. I'm going to double knot it. Now kids, if you can't tie it yourself, ask an adult for help with this. Okay, so I have my loop. All I'm going to do is take a piece of tape, put it right through the loop, sticky side down, and we're going to stick that sticky part right on top of our jellyfish on its head. Now another option if you'd like to make it a little more fancy, if you have a needle and thread at home, you could thread some string through with a needle and hang your jellyfish with that. But we're using tape here, not being too fancy. So I hope you enjoyed today's craft and you join us next Wednesday for another family night craft. And of course, again, don't forget on Monday, summer at RPL begins, so don't forget to come in and sign up. Bye friends, have a great week.